So now we've got dotbook XML DTD. So this, oh, let me mark that one off. So this needs libxml2 2.90.10. I'm just going to double check that, but I'm sure that's the one we just installed a little while ago. And it is. And sgml common we need. And unzip, I think we've installed that already as well. So what I'm going to do is just get that up as well. Yeah, we have, I remember that message there. Just see what chapter it's in, chapter 12. In theory, I should have ticked it off if everything's gone to plan, and I have. Um, and obviously, if you are keeping a list like I am, which I thoroughly recommend, and you find you haven't crossed it off, one quick way you can verify if you have installed the package is to go to the bottom of the package where it's got the descriptions of all the programs and you can actually search for it, search for the program. So you can do something like find, um, now you can search the whole machine, but what's probably best is if, it's, is if you look in the user, it's where most of the stuff will be going. Give a name option and then type in the name of one of these programs. So the first one, funzip. And there it's found it. So that's a good indication that we have installed this package. If you're still not convinced, then just install the package again. That's probably the best way to go about this. But as you can see, it's already installed. I had some doubts, but I found one of the programs that it installed. So I can just get rid of that. And the only one I need to do is this. We know we've got XML too. Got that one, so it's just this SGML common. I'm pretty sure we haven't done that, and this is in chapter 48. So we shall move on to that one. So it's chapter 48 just above here. There it is. So let's fetch the package. Download it. It's nice and quick. Must be tiny. Yeah, it's only 75 kilobytes. Save it. And there's a required patch. Okay, so it says ins installing, instead of the normal convention of including the auto tools files in the package, the maintainers included sim links to the files in user share automate. For previous versions of automate, this convention is correct, but recent versions of automate install the internal files in specific version directories. This causes the configure script to abort. To fix this error, the auto tools is regenerated since the included make file am. Sorry, since the included make file.am yeah make file.am file uses a syntax not supported by any by current versions of automate a patch is required to fix the syntax okay so that's why we've got the patch and that's why it's required so let's grab this patch and this auto reconf command oh let's extract the package first of all might help uh, dot sgml so we'll paste that in. And that's done. Then to install it, let's just check what other commands we've got. There aren't any. No, there's another information. So we can just copy this configure and make command. And build it. Okay, there's no test suite, so it says now the root user have got some commands to install it. So we'll copy these commands here. Uh, 
so I'm just copy all of that so I'll copy past that line because I want the end of line to carry on oh it's just one more line that's done there's an update hint remove the above catalog items prior to upgrading as the root user so we're not upgrading this is a fresh install and that's that one that's a nice simple one um, let's tidy up <coughs> 